quarterfinals. Now, we all know that we like to have a little fun here in America's pregame, and who better to bring a little levity to our show than our own Katie Nolan on her World Cup tour. And Katie, she's in New York City where she soaked in the sights and sounds of Germany and Algeria from Zoom Schneider in Midtown Manhattan. So Katie, at a German bar for Germany's thrilling win over Algeria, what was it like to be in the heart of the German fan base in the Big Apple, no less? Zoom Schneider's in uh, the East Village of Manhattan, a very authentic German bar. Uh, if you're wondering what this lovely hair product is I have in my hair, I'm told the German word for it is beer. Uh, the finish everybody expected, the way we got there was a little bit more dramatic than I think Germany was hoping for. When I first got here though, the atmosphere very calm, people sharing beer and pretzels, very nice to me. People were telling me they were treating this game like practice for the game against France. By about the 20th minute, I would say things got a little quiet, very nervous. People weren't talking uh, as excitedly. Still lots of beer flowing, though. Uh, but luckily, they pulled it off with that, uh, that goal right away in the extra time. German fans were thrilled. Right, guys? That extra goal, you guys are very excited. Uh, they tell me they are not at all nervous for France, even given today's performance by the team. They all seem to be very excited. Wow. Um, yeah, I made a lot of friends. Yeah, and that just happened on live television. Katie Nolan uh, apparently being accosted at Zoom Schneider's in the East Village. Katie, enjoy the rest of the day, and we'll see you tomorrow right here on America's Pregame. Katie's always doing it and doing it well, and apparently that guy was trying to get on the fun. But tomorrow, it gets personal when she'll be going full tilt on her World Cup tour at Dumbo in Brooklyn, the USA and Belgium. They will mix things up.